Welcome back to this video lecture series on programming questions for placement preparation. So the problem we have is binary tree to doubly linked list. Basically the problem statement says given a binary tree the aim for this problem is to convert it to a doubly linked list and print it in an in order traversal of binary tree manner. So if we have this tree here as the given binary tree then the output that we should be expecting is 3 5 7 8 10 11 12 13 so 3 5 7 8 10 11 12 13 so one thing to check whether our algorithm works or not is to first take the tree uh, print it in pre-order fashion and then when we you know convert it in doubly linked list and traversal the linked list then we will be seeing that the node in the pre-order traversal that first appears is at the middle of the traversal of the linked list so we'll get to uh, that in the later part of this video let's first look at the approach what we'll be doing is that we take the root of the binary tree and take a head node initialized with null both this root and head have the same node structure that is a data field and two left and right fields then we call the main function that is the in which we will be actually converting it to a doubly linked list in the function if we see that the root is null then we do nothing then we first recur for the right child of the root we assign the head to the root right that is to the right children of the root if the head is not null then we assign a root to head left and lastly we recur for the left child of the root so let's jump onto the programming part and let's see how we can implement it so yes so i have uh, taken this uh, binary tree as an example and I have already written down these lines of codes uh, to create this binary tree. I have also uh, done what is that I have also actually uh, written the code for the pre-order traversal of this tree so that we can have a reference to check whether our algorithm works. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a node that will be named as head. That will be the head of the doubly linked list and I'll initialize it with the null. So now I'll use this function convert and the arguments will be the root of the binary tree and the address of the head node right and to print it I've also uh, written the code for the binary linked list traversal here and it is the print list function so what I'm going to do is that the doubly linked list and then I'll do an end line and then I'll use this function print list where I can pass this head of the linked list right so work for me is to define this convert function so let's go here the return type will be void and the arguments we have is struct node star root and this will be a double pointer so struct node star star head so if first we see that root is equals to null then do nothing then what we do is we actually recur for the right children now what we do is we assign the root right to the head or we assign this head to root right now we check if this is not equals to null then head left sorry is equals to root and then again we recur for the left child so that is the code for this conversion so let's now run this code okay so we have got an error here uh, actually here this is the error 
and the mistake that has been done here that the notation should be like this okay uh, and also I have uh, missed a line that is here I need to do this before recurring for the left child okay so let's now run this code so you see we have got the uh, output here the BST the pre-order traversal is 8 5 3 7 10 12 11 13 and 8 is the uh, root node of the binary search tree and you can see that this is the in order traversal of the binary search tree because here this is the uh, root of the binary search tree in the doubly linked list and all the part left to this 8 uh, you know lies in the left subtree of the binary search tree and from 10 to 13 this is the part of the right subtree of the binary search tree so this has been converted from a binary search tree to doubly linked list in a proper way so that was the way uh, in which we can you know turn a binary search tree or a binary tree into a doubly linked list thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time